What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Um, if, if you like this video. Um, if you're uh, already a current subscriber, thanks for coming back. Appreciate you guys. And I see you guys uh, on the regular commenting, the regulars there. It's, it's nice to see that. I really appreciate that. Um, but anyways, yeah, today we're going to buy... Uh, actually, I don't even know why I'm buying it. Um, but we're going to pick up a 1985 Honda Elite 150 scooter. Uh, it looks really cool in the pictures. It's all, all original there. It's in pretty good shape. It's got some scuffs on it because I guess the guy laid it down in the dirt. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but it looks really cool. It's got the original like Honda cover, which is wild. I haven't seen any other ones like it. So uh, we're going to get it. Um, I almost can't even believe I'm buying it. My whole life, all I've ever done is made fun of scooters and people who buy scooters. And uh, here I am going to buy one. I don't know. Don't get it. Don't understand it. That's not like me at all. But I seen it. Thought it looked kind of cool. Decent-ish price, I guess. Um, so we're going to go there. It's about five and a half hours from here one way. So we're going to take off. We're going to go get this thing. I don't think I'll be able to film at the guy's house just because, um, well, he's an older guy. And I, I don't know. I don't know if he wants me filming. Right? So uh, we'll leave that out. But as soon as I pick it up, um, I'll film a little bit, so we'll see you in a minute, and uh, well, like five and a half hours, but it'll be a minute for you guys. <laughs> and uh, let's go get this thing and hope for the best. Hopefully, it's not a total piece of sh It looks good. I don't know. We'll see. Much, much later. Well, guys, we just got this thing. It took a while to get here, but we made it here. This thing is awesome. Here it is. 85 Honda Elite 150. Now it's a bit scratched up because. Uh, the guy's daughter had crashed it, I guess. Nothing major, a bit of a bummer. This is a bit of a bummer. This is all taped up. I didn't I didn't realize it, but that's not a big deal. Can find that for fairly cheap, I'm sure. Here's the majority of the damage. So all the paint got taken off here, a little bit here, a little bit down the side here. But other than that, like it's totally there. Everything works, the horn, the lights, uh, everything everything works it seems to run good idles good i idled it for probably five minutes there and took a little tiny little quick drive on it i didn't want to take it for a big drive to to ruin my first impressions there because like i said i've never driven one of these before at all that was the first time so what we're going to do is uh, tomorrow we are going over to jf's to show him this um i told him i bought something i didn't tell him what i bought and he keeps trying to be a sneak and get answers out of me but it ain't happening we're playing the game on this one. So we are gonna bring this thing to JF's tomorrow and then uh, we'll really take it for a rip. We'll both give it a try and uh, I don't know. I, I, this thing to me is just absolutely hilarious. I love it already. Um, but yeah, we're gonna bring this thing to JF's tomorrow. We're gonna to do, uh, do an oil change on it. Um, it's probably about it. We'll do a quick oil change on it and then just a general check over of it because I didn't really look at much of it yet. And uh, we'll take it for a little rip, maybe even a two up rip there. <laughs> So, uh, see you tomorrow. The next day. So, Jeff, you've seen this. <laughs> but look, but but here's the problem. You're looking at the good side. There's a, there's a bad side. <laughs> Buddy Rector? I guess his daughter took it out and slammed her on the pavement. And that's what he said. That's why he's selling it. He wanted to keep it for his kids. But he's like, my daughter crashed it. And then my wife said, you got to sell all it. Right, all right, all right. Get a shot of the pipe here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's like one eighth pipe. Dude, this thing's hilarious. I only drove it like, buddy really, like, really wanted me to drive. So I only drove it like 10 feet just to drive it. Because yeah. I wanted to like try it here first. I figured it'd be more funny. <laughs> what a freaking weapon. You yeah. got the good color too. Oh, buddy. Oh, I got to have the key in. You want to see the best part of this? Oh, right, uh, you know Dash. what? Let's get it out first. No, I'll show you after. Right. <laughs> it's awesome. The coolest toy I've ever seen in my life. So, I think everything works. So, you have to hold, yeah, hold your yeah. foot on the brake and now try to start it. Okay. And, yeah, that's it. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, is she going to idle or not? <laughs> okay, yeah. You might need a little card clean. Buddy says a nightmare to get at. Actually, you want to try the turning signals? I, I know the fronts work, but I, I didn't check the rears. Yeah, oh, yeah, it works. Do the other side. Yep, do the brakes. Yeah. Brakes? Yep. Hey, everything works. Does, uh, front one work? Yeah. Yep, do the foot. Yep. Yeah, they both work. <laughs> it's heavy, eh? Like, it's really heavy feeling. <laughs>
Oh, he gone. <laughs> that thing looks hilarious. Like it looks absolutely hilarious. I need this. Like, yeah, I haven't even driven it that far yet. I literally drove it to the end and back. Take it for a here, what we'll do, here, what we'll do is I'll go take it for a rip, yeah. and then we'll do a two up rip. <laughs> yo, check this, yo, check this out. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready for this? Boom! Oh, oh. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this steering angle is so garbage. It's like you steer a bit and it's good, then you go too far and it's just like right I, sketchy. I feel like safer on my KTM or like oh, a the, Star 500. You'll see that steering angle sucks. Hilarious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that thing is so wicked. Is that not like the best thing ever? No, she don't. <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna wheelie. Yeah. No, maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, dude. Can you even chew up this? Oh, yeah. You haven't even hold on to it. Shit. What? Don't do anything. I'll just go full homo, I guess. Yeah. All right, give her. You ready? Oh my god, it's even scarier now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Jamie just told me he's got something else he wants to show me there. All right, what do you got? Yeah, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, no. See that, what? What? You don't think this is cool as I think this is. What? Dude, and wait, wait till you see like, it even fits over this. No, yeah. is that a factory thing? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. This thing is ridiculous. Oh, my God. I don't know how. I got to Oh, maybe this is the back. Okay, hold up. There's a back that goes over the pouch somehow. <laughs> I don't know how it goes. That's Where right here. You? That's your back. What the fuck is going on here? How many people does it take to get a cover on? Oh my god. <laughs> Got the old barn fine cover for it there? <laughs> Wait, what do you got under there? Oh. <laughs> Damn it. It's just what we got under there. Isn't that sick? Maybe I'm a loser. I think that's like the coolest thing. That ever. is wicked. I, the fact that it's, I'm assuming, probably a factory cover. I think so. I don't know. With, but... with the freaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, bud. Honda line, bud. Oh, my God. I don't know. Maybe ha some Honda people know the answer to this. I have no idea. That is cool as know. hell, man. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you told me you bought something. I'm like, man, did you buy a moped? And you told me it was 2800 bucks. I'm like, nah. Like, you didn't buy a moped for 28 Well, sometimes you just gotta lie. Thousand bones. Not bad. Yeah. Just something anything else at all actually i don't even know if there's oil in it i didn't even check that gonna have to line her up at the old mf 1010 there oh but you got no chance Oof. You to chain it, oh it up, you're done dude. yeah i am done actually the, right, we're gonna leave you all the way to the chip stand <laughs> <by the pole. laughs> that's bad luck. well it's a good thing we decided to do the oil because i don't know if you can tell but it's like 
really bad. It smells bad too. Oh, there's that screen I was talking about. Yep. Oh, hey, well, there's no chunks in it. That's a good, it's kind of a good start, yeah, I guess. No, for sure. Apparently the tranny, there's a drain for the tranny. Ah, uh, whatever. Leave that, I don't care for now, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll do the regular oil and that'll be another day thing. No filter? Nope, apparently just a screen. Anyways, let's get some new oil in this. Let's get some new oil in this feed of engineering. <laughs> I wonder, uh, you know what? I wonder if we can get to the rad too. I think it's behind here, like I said. Yeah. I like to see if there's even coolant yeah, in it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, all right. It oh, what's in behind here? Is that your carbs probably got to be yeah, there, right? Eh? Oh, carbs. there it is. Your CDI. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. All right, boys, oil's changed. Good to go. Did a little check over really quick. Check the coolant. Coolant's good. It's a little tiny bit low in the bottle, but it's fine for now. Um, so we're going to take this out. JF's gonna fire up his CRF450L. We're gonna go for a little boot scoot around the block. Why not, eh? So I think that's probably gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, but yeah, if you like this stuff, subscribe, comment, like, share, do whatever you wanna do, guys. Um, let me know what else you guys wanna see. If you wanna see more of this thing, if you don't like this thing, you don't wanna see it, let me know. Put a comment below and uh, we'll go from there, guys. Anyways, have a good one. <laughs> all right, all right. so i figured i'd give you guys a quick update on this thing i made a video a while back saying i was gonna do an update and i never did um reason being i want to put some mileage on that Yoshi. sorry <laughs> i want to put some mileage on this thing before i actually made a video so i put uh 1500 kilometers on it you since... put that much already yeah oh yeah. shit <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> um and honestly it's not really what i expected but it turned out for the better, which I'll explain in a second. So I built this bike. I originally came from my KTM 300. I built this bike. I kind of wanted it to be the same thing as a 300, but get the fuel mileage of a four stroke. Um, reason being, I put the bigger tank on it and all that. And you know, the Hondas were pretty good, reliable bikes. Uh, I took it out for the first ride. Loved it. Thought it was a great bike. Then I took it in the pit for one ride. You guys, Jamie, about that. Yeah. It was miserable. It was the worst ride I've ever been on. It's heavy. It felt like I was driving a Harley Davidson through the pit. Like it was just a Harley Davidson you know, through it the was pit. Brutal, brutal. brutal. Um, it performed somewhat well, but you just couldn't throw it around like you could the two stroke. And then I started talking to Jamie. I'm like, man, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. It's just too heavy. Um, that wasn't until I did a bunch of hard enduro with it. This thing down low lugging through trails this thing does hard enduro wickedly for some reason you could throw this thing around in the tight single track but the second you get in the pit it's a terrible bike and when I, you get in the pit it takes a when you get in the pit <laughs> it takes a <laughs> um but yeah ever since then i don't know i've just been progressively getting more and more comfortable with this bike and honestly i think if you guys are looking for a good dual sporter so i mean you ride on the road because it does really well on the road and then you go do single track that's a good bike for you if you're into like you know doing pits and you go up uh, in the dunes and all that i'm telling you right now you're not gonna like this bike yeah it's hard to get around the weight right like, yeah it's just the problem heavy. for some reason once you get into a pit a big open area where you're just holding it full out it just feels super heavy uh other than that though like it's been a good bike super reliable bike i have had zero issues with it uh, I put the new skid plate on actually last week. I actually really like, yeah, that skid plate's super nice. Yeah, I'm a big What fan. is that, AXP? AXP, it's actually made in Czechoslovakia. Moose Racing makes the exact same plate, except you can't get it in red. Oh yeah? Yep, but it's really <laughs> nice. You got a link guard that they actually double up on the blast. Oh, I didn't even link see guard. that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, That's nice piece. Nice. No, it looks good. I like all the little things you did to it, right? Yep. Uh, all the little things make a difference. Like the frame guards stand out really well. I really like the tail light, the integrated tail light. Yeah. Get rid of that like absolutely ridiculous um, <laughs> factory mount. The, the, ridiculous the big old bazoo <laughs> hanging off the back there. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for like uh, like a 500, the 500 might do better in the pit because you're gonna have more power. Yeah, it's a little and lighter too, I guess. I think eh? the 500 might be a better all-around bike doing you know single track pit. But I heard that they suffer on the road because they're light. And didn't they have some, like his EXC, right? Didn't they have some weird oil life thing too, where you gotta change it? Or was that? Uh, the 500 every 50 hours. They say. Oh, that's not bad. Never I, I thought it was some ridiculous thing, but. Yeah, hmm. no, no, it looks good. Other than that, man, like, it's a really good bike. I, I thought I was getting into it. I thought it was gonna be just like a 300, but, you know, just a little bit heavier, and that was not the case. But it actually turned out for the better because I'm 
I'm not. Uh, maybe I like this a bit more about 300. No, don't you don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, at least it has the on-road capabilities, right? The That's 300 the, doesn't have yeah. that. And just the, just the range, right? That's the biggest thing. Yeah, is it is a fuel mileage actually really good on it? Yeah. yeah like is it I really get, good? Yeah. I get like almost 150 kilometers to a tank of gas. Like it's. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. How do you like the seat? Are you used to the seat now, or mm, still hate it? Terrible. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Thing, guys, I buy, thought you might get used to it. Yeah. But. If you buy this bike, you gotta get the seat concept one. They're completely sold out right now because of COVID, obviously. Classic. And I don't like the look of the seat concept ones. I hate them. Is it one of the big bulky things? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I've seen them. So I don't know. Maybe what I'll get one. Maybe I won't. Oh well. Whatever. Just stand up. If your butt hurts, stand up. Stand up, bud. Yeah. Overall, happy though, I guess. Yeah, no, I really like this bike. Right on. Would I buy another one? Yes, but you gotta do these mods to it, otherwise it's a Yeah, piece I guess of crap. kind of stock it was a little bit bunk, but yep. oh well. It looks good now. I think so. And I guess that's the CRF update, my friend. That's the CRF update. Oh, that was weird. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Have a good day or whatever. Peace. Yeah, you don't you don't necessarily have to have a good day. No, you have to have a good day. It's not really oh. <laughs> what, what, what kind of traps you setting up here? <laughs> okay. Okay guys, bye. <laughs>